Hello once again, this is Mr. The Big Man. Um, the last sort of show me how to tutorial in the series for a reason before we actually get into some beat making and actually get into creating some tracks and do some creative track tutorials um, is going to be on the regroove mixer which you can see at the bottom here. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to I've got a beat and I've got the arpeggiator track from the last tutorial and I've put them down. I'm going to let you hear them now. Okay, so they kind of fit together. Um, I want something a little bit more um, with the actual beat itself. Um, and I'm going to show you how to actually do that with the regroove mixer. Um, first of all, we're going to save out an actual groove. Um, and then we're going to actually use the groove itself. So I'm going to show you how to do that on the screen. Okay, so if we right click, you'll see Get Groove from Clip, which I've just pressed on. Then we go over to um, our Tools menu. Sorry, our Groove menu. And then we can see that it's set as User 1 here. Um, I want to save that out um, as its own regroove patch file. Okay, I'm going to save it as beat 1. Okay, so that's now um, saved, but you can also see it's actually in the actual regroove mixer now for us to actually use. Um, and that's what we're looking to do. So it's as simple as selecting it on the actual note lane, or on the track lane itself. Uh, so we'll show you how to do that now. Okay, so we know it's in channel A, um, and as you can see it says beat 1, so that's what I'm looking to select. And now this will link against this and we'll play together then um, as a quantized beat and sound together. You might not hear much of a difference, but trust me when it comes to headroom and everything and it's so tight in, uh, it works really, really well. So I'll let you hear it again and um, then we'll end it off from there and we'll use it in future tutorials for actually making beats with. <laughs> Okay, so as you, as you can tell yourself, it sounds radically different because it's had that treatment. Um, that ends the main how to, how to do things within Reason itself with the new um, sounds and new instruments and everything that's in there. Uh, so the next tutorial will start in the actually creating the beat using Reason. Um, first of all, to set it up for um, bringing it into Ableton Live to make an actual song out of it, and then dropping it into Cubase from there um, to do the actual mix on it. Okay.